Thank you for tuning in to Jump Squad Vlogs. We are on the go. Disclaimer. I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of doing these videos while I'm on the go. Because I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm taking you on this journey with me. I was just in the house, you know, on the computer, answering the phone. Phone's ringing now. But long story short, I had already, you know, had one phone call this morning, local, uh, for some, you know, we had storms recently, so tree debris it was already cut up. Then I just had a call for some construction debris. Um, the guy had a dumpster. I wish I could have recorded this call, but the guy had a dumpster and he was pretty much just calling for labor. And then he was going to want someone to haul away the little remnants that were left. I explained that we do not just do labor. I want to know how do you guys feel about that? Do you just do labor? We are a full service jump removal company. So we like to be the dumpster. We like to be the whole nine. You know, we like for you to just point and tell us what to get and we remove it. So anyway, he decided to call the dumpster company back. He's like, man, can you get to it tomorrow if possible? You know, within the next couple of days. So anyway, guys, you are coming along with me to go see this construction debris. We pretty much already have the job. He's from California. And knowing that he's in Missouri, my fair price is going to be a discount to this guy because he is coming from California where the prices are very high compared to, you know, Missouri. So we got the job. He canceled the dumpster. So we're just going to seal the deal. Then I will be coming back to St. Charles to go ahead and um, look at the tree debris, which is another deal that is sealed. It's a prior. It has some scrap metal over there too for us. I'm riding around with scrap metal in the truck bed now. So anyway, guys, it is a good Monday way to start the week. Two jobs. I just also talked to the guy with the shed. He decided that they're probably going to break the shed down themselves. And, you know, we just do uh, the shed in with the uh furniture and whatnot that we'll be removing but anyway guys we're on the road let's go so how do you guys handle that do you go out and just do labor there was a time when i did you know i'm a little more seasoned now and i like to utilize everything that we have and and, and our crew is not that big we don't have multiple crews so for us to come and give you three hours worth of labor and you pay us for a labor price it is not in my business it's best benefit so I just explained that, man, I wish you would have gotten in touch with us before you, you know, reserved the dumpster. I'm sure we could have, you know, helped you out, you know, real nice. And he was like, man, he made it happen. I like this guy already. But yeah, guys, do you extend your labor out? So, all right, guys, we're going to be there shortly. I'll cut you back on. You'll see what we got. All right, boom. So I made it, guys, and the guy actually wasn't there. Uh, man, nice construction debris. It's already in a pile in the back. What I'm doing right now is I'm hoping this truck will be gone so I can go through this alley, but it is not. So I'm going to have to go back around the block this other way. But yeah, man. Um, yeah, I'm going to be honest. I don't see you being able to get all this good footage, man. Not being on the move sometimes. Okay, so perfect. We'll hit this street right here and we will go through the alley and we'll be right at the debris. And a good thing about it is um, it's going to be a good pull up. My favorite type of debris construction. And it came from Cali, man. They, and I was actually talking to one of the workers that he has with him. The worker is from Oregon. I'm like, man, what did he do? Just buy homes and flip them. So, OK, he's here now, too. Now. All righty. Perfect. Yep. And. Here's what we have, guys. We made it. Kevin? Yep. Okay. Good deal. Yeah, perfect. And it's out here already? Oh, it's man. It's ready for you. Yeah. Yeah, definitely call us. The dumpster, you only have to worry about the pickup and coming back. Oh, and... no. They, this lady made it so difficult. Yeah. So we'll, do, we'll add a little bit to this because we're still yeah. pulling stuff out. Yeah. And um, to be honest, man, yeah, we definitely can handle it. And you're probably looking at maybe in a, a day or two. Uh, Give me another Couple day. Days. Okay. Yeah, another day. Yeah. And for something like this, as I said, we charge by volume. And it's 650 for a full load. You probably won't even be a full load. Most of it's flat. And um, yeah, you know, we do a lot for contractors. It's usually worse than this, like drywall broken up. And yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll definitely be able to get it one day. Okay, so let's say today's Monday. Mm -hmm. Can we schedule you for Wednesday? Yeah. 
Yeah, that'd be perfect. Give us time to do what we have to do. Okay. And also, you know, if you, obviously I'm looking for some labor to help. We are on the grind, baby. Let's go. That's why you have to, you know, you have to operate your business the way you operate it. Do not compromise. I, I've been there. I've done it before. But when he said he wanted labor, like I said, there was a time when I'd be like, for sure, how much labor do you need? Now I'm out here contracting myself out, you know, on an hourly budget along with the employee or helper. That is not cool because that is not the way our business runs. So we have to operate the way we operate. So I just told him we don't do that. We are a full service jump removal company, you know, so we're the guys you call just to get it up. And it seems like we're a better fit than the dumpster. You know, I, we must be. I mean, he got on the phone, called him right away without even knowing our prices. You know, we're in Missouri and for construction debris. We only charge. It'll be only to some of you guys and then to some of you guys, it may be high, but we charge 650, you know, uh, for a load of construction debris. Construction debris could just be wood sometimes. Sometimes it may be drywall, you know, doors, remodeling debris. And uh, the job that we just looked at is going to be great because it is not, you know, what, uh, you know, a, a, a for real home builder would have. You know, they're just doing floors and whatnot. You know, not a lot of drywall, none of that. So um, it's a great fit. Uh, he had no complaints, as I said. You know, he was from California, so the prices up there are definitely higher than what we have. And um, we're going to pull up Wednesday and we're going to fill that, fill that uh, trailer up. But I just want to show you the week. I'm starting off with nothing in stone on the books. And let's just see how many jobs will accumulate. And I'm not guerrilla marketing. I'm doing nothing normal but letting things come in organic. Don't get me wrong. I will post two Craigslist ads a day. You know, I'll do that. And I'll make sure that I'm checking my emails. I'll make sure that I'm out and about. I will maybe just ride here and there. I picked up a sign that I had posted up back when we did the signs. If you don't know, we did the signs, go back, look through the videos. And yeah, I mean, all the signs made it except for one. I just went and picked one back up because I want to move it back to the schnooks because somebody removed uh, one of my, so yeah, they removed the, the last one that was at the schnooks in a great spot. I took the one from the park and I'm going to put it back at the shopping center and I have more signs coming guys. Yeah, we are back up that highway, man. Getting ready to go to job slash quote number two. Job number two, you know, because it's in the books too. A lot of the times, man, it's just coming out there to see, you know, uh, the loading zone, just to, you know, you know, iron out a few things that are not, that may be up in the air and could be miscommunicated. You always want to have the communication clear. Everyone knows what to expect. I know what to expect. You know, the client knows what to expect. That's good business. Remember, guys, this is what you want to see. We are in junk removal. I love when I see guys doing junk removal. This truck here is getting it in. He has a load, you know, just hit the hazard song. I mean, it's getting real. But yeah, you see him coming down the road, baby. You see him? You see him? Hats off. Hats off. Hats off, man. You got to... That just means there is money to get. There is opportunity. You have to have that. You can you know, you have to have someone that wants your services. You can't just start a start a business and there's no market for it. All right, guys. We are about to pull up to job slash quote number two. Super Hill. And it's in the back, so I just decided to come to the back. And looks like a pile of brush. I'm gonna go ahead and park and we'll take a good look at it. You know, so it's this right here, brush. It looks like a little bit in the tarp right there. So nice pile. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the client. And um, as I said, it's gonna be a good chance. We'll go ahead and maybe clear the scrap. I'll probably come back and do it tomorrow. Okay, so a little bit of scrap too. Okay. Yeah, we'll get that too to go with. That's for the pit stop. Bada boom, bada bing. Out here doing my thing. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, guys, we got that job. We'll probably come back tomorrow, do that quick pickup. 
one man job, you know. So I will be pulling back up on that after I dump this scrap. And uh, we got the other job for Wednesday. So looking good, looking good. As I said, man, I'm gonna take you through this journey in real time as, as much as I can. So let's do it. We'll be coming back for that tomorrow. And once again, today is Monday. Started with zero jobs on schedule. Now we got two jobs on schedule and a possible. Sounds like a spade hand, baby. Two and a possible. Let's get it.